we started to see signs of um, autism from a slightly young age. We've changed her diet and many other things. Speech therapy, psychomotor therapy as well, and also ABA therapy. So there has been slight improvements, but not um, enough. And then we came across stem cell therapy. I'm hoping that our concentration will uh, be improved and then that will enhance the therapies that she's getting. Hello, would you please tell us where you're coming from and why you're here in Swiss Medical? Yeah, sure. So uh, we've travelled from the United Arab Emirates, so we've come from the city of Dubai. Uh, we've come for stem cell therapy for my child. Um, so uh, my child is five years old. Um, we started to see signs of um, autism from a slightly young age, um, so we were able to identify it. Um, we've been doing quite a bit of research online in, on different things that we could assist her with. We've changed her diet and many other things and then we came across stem cell therapy. So we started doing research on that and then we found um, this clinic um, and we heard a lot of great things and then we also made contact with a family that had also um, been here before and heard some amazing reviews and uh, just how their child had made progress um, and the similarities um, between both of our children. Um, so we took the leap and made contact and here we are. What kind of therapies do you have back home to cope with this uh, diagnosis? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of support um, in Dubai. Um, a lot of it is private, so it's very, very costly. So my child is currently in mainstream education. Uh, my child has speech therapy. Uh, my child also has occupational, uh, sorry, psychomotor therapy as well, and also ABA therapy. Um, so that's been happening for maybe three years. Um, so we've seen a lot of improvement, but my child is still non-verbal. Um, so we just thought we need to do a little bit more, um, just so that we can feel like we've done everything we possibly can, because she's having all the therapies, she's changed her diet, and lots of different things. So um, those are the therapies that are available there. Um, stem cell therapy um, for autism is not um, currently available um, in Dubai. So do you notice any changes in, in her behaviour after all the therapies you have over there? Um, yes, um, definitely with her behaviour. So we've seen slight improvements, but I mean, she's been doing the therapy for, like I said, three years. Uh, so there has been slight improvements, but not um, enough. So um, if you look at my child, you will think that she's maybe two years behind where she should be. Um, so I think it's time to try something different um, to support her and continue those other therapies as well. Those won't stop because there has been improvement with them, but I think this will just give her the extra leverage to progress further. So uh, what, can you, uh, what kind of results are you hoping for? What would you be happy with as a mother, the parent? I'm, I'm really, and the clinic has been really, really honest as well. So it's not a magic overnight fix and we completely understand and appreciate that. So we're hoping there will be um, changes or improvement in comprehension. Um, because I do feel that a lot of my child's learning is not there as much simply because she's sometimes hyper. Um, so I'm hoping that our concentration will uh, be improved and then that will enhance the therapies that she's getting so for example her speech therapies etc that might also help so um, I'm hoping it's more so comprehension and then communication would follow. So would you tell us uh, a little bit about our medical staff about the treatment itself was it safe was it um, I don't know complicated or easier than you thought? So I was really, really nervous before we, uh, before we flew out, so we didn't know what to expect, even though we had the full, we had the meetings before, we had a full breakdown itinerary on everything, it's still very nervous coming to a different country um, with the hopes that we have. But I mean, the staff have been amazing since the moment we got picked up from the airport um, all the way through, and today is obviously the last day. Uh, we've been discharged and the whole process has been amazing. Everybody has been really helpful, really supportive. 
it was a very personal experience uh, down to the fact that our driver knew who we were and why we're here down to uh, the catering staff to the doctors everybody knew who we were without us having to introduce ourselves and then just that support has been amazing that you need I think especially when you're doing this unknown journey uh, the support has been amazing the knowledge the experience uh, I mean honestly it's been we came really nervous and we're leaving really sort of pleasantly surprised and content, definitely. Uh, so at the end of this journey, what can you say about Serbia? How Serbia treated you here? Serbia has been amazing, really, really good. Um, the weather's obviously a little bit colder than where we're, where we're used to, but um, it's been really, really great and we're going off to um, the zoo after this uh, which was recommended by um, the staff as well so uh, I think it's been fantastic and I don't think I could have chosen a better place. Everyone's really um, friendly. Is there any kind of advice you can give to a parent uh, facing similar challenges in their life having your kids being diagnosed with autistic? Yeah. I think yeah. as parents there's only so much we can do and I think it's important to do your research, uh, do what you can so that tomorrow you yourself don't feel guilty that you didn't do everything you possibly could. Um, and I would definitely say exhaust all avenues and just do your research, know who you're talking to and be comfortable with every step that you take. So I can sit here and say, hey, everybody come here, do stem cell therapy, but it's all individual preference and what people are willing to do. Um, for their child and I think just do the research and just take it from there and God willing. Thank you so much.